Joining us tonight is Sarah Carter, investigative reporter, Fox Business contributor. And Sarah, great to have you with us. Let's let's start with the Stone case because it is uh, it is just overwhelming. A biased uh, uh, foreman uh, for a person on the jury. Yeah. Uh, three of the Mueller prosecutors uh, amongst the four who led the case against Stone. This man, uh, you would think he was a major mafioso with a complex <laughs> crime syndicate behind him instead of a lonely uh, a political, uh, uh, what would I call him, uh, you know, uh, well, he, participant. He was, a, he was a participant, a friend, someone that Donald, President Donald Trump knew for quite a long time. Lou, let's just start from the top. The entire prosecutions of Roger Stone, Paul Manafort, Lieutenant General Michael Flynn, and everybody else they were looking at surrounding in Trump's circumference was based on a false narrative, a lie. We all know that now. Michael Horowitz's report blew that out of the water. We also know it because of the evidence that the American people can see for themselves. So basically, they weaponized the Department of Justice. They weaponized the FBI. They weaponized the intelligence community to target the president and his administration. This is where all of these cases emanate from. And if you're looking at Roger Stone, they talk about about, you know, the lie to Congress, that he lied to Congress. Well, look at John Brennan and his lies to Congress. Uh, James Comey and his lies to Congress. Uh, James Clapper, when he lied to all of America, I believe it was back in 2013, when mm -hmm. he said there was no spying, uh, warrantless spying on Americans, and we found so, out that was not the case. None of these people have been prosecuted, but Roger Stone is being prosecuted. So, yes, the Department and of Justice. And severely. punished. Severely. And, and, and the president, if the president had not spoken up uh, in defense of uh, Stone and against such a, a heinous uh, a, a effort to put him in prison for as long as nine years on the part of those four merry prosecutors of the Justice Department, first of all, how is it that the Justice Department can afford to put four prosecutors on one case? That's mm -hmm. asinine. How can well, they afford to send out SWAT teams for a, a guy who lied to the FBI? They knew what they were doing. They were making their point. These were political acts were, and remain exactly. so. Exactly. They were sending a message. They were sending a message to anybody who was in Trump's sphere. We're coming after you and we're going to use the Department of Justice. Think about how frightening that is. They sent an armada basically to Roger Stone's home while he was asleep with his wife. He would have easily turned himself in if they would have contacted the judges. He mm -hmm. would have done that. He wasn't a, a flight risk by any means. Uh, but they send an armada with a message. And you're right. You said it yourself. Well, it was CNN knew about it. Nobody else did. So they wanted it to be out there publicly. The thing is, Lou, there should be a, a group or an entity within the Department of Justice that can check on these prosecutors. No. This dis with absolute impunity, they can just go after anybody yeah. they want for political purposes. I, and, I, and that's not right. I respectfully disagree, Sarah. We can no longer... <laughs> We can no longer even think about the Justice Department right. uh, watching over and uh, being the arbiter of what is fair or, or responsible or constitutional. You're right on that. It, it's just uh, this has to this has to stop. Uh, and we've got now the oversight committees of both the Senate and the House that normally would be uh, providing oversight. They are so consumed with politics uh, on the part of the House that they're not doing their jobs. The Senate Judiciary Committee under Lindsey Graham is not doing its job. That's I can't right. tell you a single substantive hearing that in 11 months he's held. So the, the problem gets larger and larger instead of smaller and under control. This attorney general, do you still have the same confidence in him as you had a year ago when he took the job? Yes, I do, Lou, but I'm still holding him accountable, just like every American should hold him accountable, as well as John Durham. If he does the right job, people will be indicted and the truth will be exposed. Remember, we're still waiting. We're still waiting for him to declassify all of the documents that President Trump has given him authority to declassify mm -hmm. so that we can know the truth. Do you, know, do you find it interesting, as we wrap up here, but I've got to ask you this, do you find it interesting we still don't even know what the damn scope memoranda contained. 
I mean, I mean the American people are being treated uh, like mushrooms, and That's you right. and I both know what that requires. And part of it is darkness, and the rest is what we've been handed so far uh, through uh, throughout this past year. Absolutely, Lou, and it's actually insulting. It's insulting to the American people. It's insulting to us. And the, the scope of that memoranda, look, this started out with President Trump was the Manchurian candidate. He was in the pocket right. of the Russians. Then we found out that was all a lie. But it didn't stop there. It continued to waste millions, tens of millions of taxpayer dollars to target everyone around President Trump. And if the DOJ doesn't do its job, the frightening thing, who else will? There won't be anyone to hold anybody accountable. And that's actually very frightening as an American citizen, that well, the think, power rests in that. I think you're right, but I think the American people hold great power as well still. That's true. And uh, one of the issues is going to be come November 3rd, uh, whether or not uh, we are willing to, uh, to support uh, a, 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 a party that has become the party of hate and that has perpetrated all of these crimes against this republic, against this constitution, and this president. Sarah That's Carter, right. great to have you with us. Thanks so much. Good Thank to you, see you. Thank you, Lou. Good to see you too.